Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. In today's topic, I'd like to, to discuss why your fuel gauge is showing inaccurate readings. So basically, one of the most common causes is going to be caused by a bad fuel sending unit. So basically, most fuel sending unit is attached to the uh, fuel pump. And it consists of the float, the metal rod, and a variable resistor. There are a lot of reasons why a fuel sending unit can become bad. And one of the most common causes is going to be caused by contamination. Contamination can consist, consist of rust or dirt. Those are the two most common reasons why. So basically, when you have contamination, it can affect this variable resistor. It can cause the the position to be stuck in one position such as high, such as medium, and low. So here's a close-up view of the variable resistor. As you can see, there are many different contacts. And when rust starts to build up on this contact, it can affect the uh, connections and it can send improper signal to the fuel gauge or fuel pump. Contamination can also cause this as well, such as dirt. When contamination affects this part, it can cause the rod to be stuck in a certain position. This is why you may get a high reading, a medium reading, and a low reading. So what I like to do when I find out this is a problem is I like to just get a simple, you know, rag, shop rag, or you can also use Q-tip, and you can just go ahead and gently clean the contact. I do not suggest using any chemicals of internet sort because if you look at this contact, it looks extremely fragile and thin. So basically, you just want to just gently go over it. What I also like to do is use W40 and just spray just a little bit at this end right here. Not exactly on this contact, but at this point where it pivots. That may help free it up. Another common reason why your fuel sending unit can stop working is due to connection. So basically, this sits inside a fuel tank and gas, gasoline is always moving around in there and this will cause this to constantly just kind of just swing back and forth. So what, can this, what this can do is cause this connection over here to become loose or partially become loose and this can cause an open in the circuit. That will cause your fuel level becomes low at all times, regardless how much gas you pump into the fuel tank. Another common cause that doesn't really happen too often, is most likely is going to be caused by a connection issue. So basically most of these connect connections are protected by a rubber cover. So most likely it doesn't really go bad, but you have a very old fuel pump, more than 20 years that's just been you know, just been sitting here for so long, anything can happen. And again, because there's a connection on it, it can also become loose due to uh, vehicle's vibration. Another common cause that can occur is this float over here. So basically the float is normally made of two different materials. They're either plastic or made of foam. And what can happen is that this float over here can detach itself from this rod. And so basically when that occur, there's this rod would always sink to the lowest point. So basically your fuel gauge would always show that stuck at low. So the only way to figure if this part is a problem is to basically remove the uh, fuel pump out of the fuel tank and vis visually inspect it. And lastly, if you still cannot figure out what the problem is, hey, most likely your problem is just gonna be a bad fuel gauge. In order to access the fuel gauge, you need to remove the tachometer, in most cases, and bench test this. That is the only way. Thank you for watching, and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.